Now, today we'll discuss about one of the master stroke or you can say one of the basic fundamental concept of science and math that is you can say it is a counting how to count and for what purpose you have to count counting you can say it is the counting is the starting of the math or you can say from where only math has originated before counting math was not there means you can say one of the master stroke counting one two three four you can say it is a natural number in math it is called it is a natural number because it will be used for counting it will not use for fractional number it will only use for integral number Number, due to it is called counting then counting one two three four it looks very simple but you can say it is a just center point of the math and science and from there math has started and slowly slowly all branches of science has started and today we are going to discuss one of the master stroke that is called counting one two three four and it is going to help your directly quant you can say it is no doubt quantitative ability it will be directly affected but your entire cat preparation will be affected if you know about the basic concept of numbers or basic concept of counting it is basically belong to a number chapter number one of the important chapter under your quant and knowing about the number will helpful for your di and lr or you can say for preparation for for doing the better cat preparation you should know better about the numbers if you are not aware you don't know about the numbers then your preparation will not go in correct direction then knowing about the numbers it is very very helpful or it is very very essential not only helpful it is very very essential then counting one two three you can say it is coming under the numbers and numbers is coming under the quant but it is going to affect your entire cat preparation then just will just will look how numbers has originated numbers are originated because generally our education system especially we will see the indian education system indian education system generally we are not making the children to make the inquiry of third level generally we will stop at second level what is your first second third level first stop inquiry inquiry level is what is there like numbers are there that is one two three four second inquiry is how it is happening then we will we will tell one plus two is equal to three one plus two equal to three no student will ask why one plus two is equal to three no student will ask and not a single teacher will explain why one plus two is equal to three they will tell it is a just rule of addition due to it is happening means how it is happening they will explain because it is addition addition is a mathematical operation due to one plus two equal to three but third level of inquiry that is you can say question mark why it is happening why it is happening one plus two equal to three that we should think and this session or this master stroke i will try to explain what is the very fundamental concept behind the natural number or behind the counting numbers how it is started and why it is started this you will start to understand anything why it is happening any of the event or any of the incident or any of the mathematical mathematical relation or any of the concept of physics chemistry or math then you will able to understand in better way because you know the root then you will able to understand in the shortcut master stroke anything but you should know why it is happening then first purpose was there or you can say requirement of that time ancient time it was accountability how to make the person or how to make the things accountable accountability purpose and why accountability has come because people want to hold or people want to hold it means us samay ke jo log the un kuch cheezon ko jama karke rakhna chahte the ki agar future mein kuch problem ho gaya to mere paas kuch rahega means tendency to holding or tendency to hold means you can say property whatever ever level that time maybe a stones or maybe weapons or maybe you can say domestic animals or maybe you can say farm animals that time that was only property that time it was not a like a share or it was not like a real estate or it was not like a big big bungalow and car that time property means domestic animals farm animals or uh, a stones or you can say a stone made weapons that was only that time properties that property it was like a just natural property or you can say social property nobody was holding but slowly slowly human tendency has started i want to hold it i want to keep with me i want to keep it at my home i want to i i want to accumulate it if your tendency will become you want to accumulate it you want to hold it then accountability will be required accountability will be required but that time people were not knowing how to make accountable then counting has started so many technique has adopted in ancient time like they started to count on a stone they started to count on the bones of animal they started to count based on the finger all roman technique of the counting has started based on the finger like 1 2 3 and after 3 4 has not come like this after 3 5 has come like this due to 5 is like b shape and less than 1 5 it is called 4 like this then like whatever any civilization what they felt feasible and what they uh, felt comfortable for them they adopted the technique for counting and from that point only you can say math has originated 
and you can say math is totally it is a innovative science means or you can say it based on imagination numbers one two three you will never see in anywhere of the nature or a space or anywhere any of the planets anywhere you will not see the shape like one two three four but it is totally based on our imagination or you can say innovation due to math you can say first science it is totally based on the innovation no practical thing nothing is available it is totally based on imagination then here counting has started and based on the counting one two three math Math has originated, and afterwards, slowly, 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 math has become so complicated. But once you know all math has started from one, two, three, four, you will able to fabricate, you will able to understand each and every math concept in better way. Then from counting, it has come to natural number, and natural number will go only in positive direction, one, two plus infinity. After natural number means counting has started one, two, three, four. Another sense has come. Like just suppose in any of the society, any of the society, ten person is there, eight person are having something, any like just suppose any. Pet animals or domestic animals, they have one person having two number, another person having three number, another person having five number. Like counting was possible, five, six, or three number. But two persons are there out of ten, they don't have anything. They don't have anything. They don't have a single farm animal. They don't have a single domestic animal. They don't have any of the good stones or they don't have any of the weapons. Then how it will be defined? Emptiness, nothingness. If you don't have anything, nothingness. Then concept of zero has come. If you don't have anything, means zero. And zero. Zero is included with natural number, and it has become whole number. Means between whole number and natural number, only difference is zero. In natural number, if you will add zero, it will become whole number. Means it will start from zero, and it will go to plus infinity. Next number has come like just I am telling you how it is civilization change. First counting has started, then it has concept has come emptiness, nothingness. Second concept has come now if you have consumed more than what is available, means your consumption is more than available, or you can say you have taken from somebody whatever you have more than that, means you can say debt. Either you are in debit or your consumption is more than available. Then how to define? First has come counting one two three four, means you have something. Second concept has come nothingness means you can say it is a zero. Third concept has come if you have you have consumed more than available then how can define means negative. One person is having positive property. One person is having maybe crores of rupees, crores of rupees maybe hundred crores. Another person having nothing zero but they they don't have taken money from any of the bank or any of the person. Another set of people are there they have taken lot of money from banks and persons they are in negative. Then how to define negative? If your consumption is more than available because that time advance concept debit credit this was not that due to an Just telling in very simple way, your consumption is more than available, or you are taking the food, whatever you are eating, that is more than whatever you have. Means what you eat, you are eating more than what you have. Then you can say you are in negative side. Then concept of negative number has come. Concept of negative number, not fraction, only integer, only integer. Like one cow earlier you have, now one cow you have the debit. Means you have taken from somewhere one cow, and that cow somebody has uh, taken from you. Somebody has taken from you, or maybe cow has died. Then what happened? One cow is negative, but full number, full number, or you can say in mathematical terms, it is an integral number. It is integral number. Means still that counting zero and negative, all are we are explaining in integer. It is we are not going to fraction. Only like one apple, two apple, only we can count. Part of apple that time concept was not there. Next next level of inquiry has come. If you have divided any of the part in two or three pieces, then how to count? Then here concept of negative has come and. And it will go from minus infinity to up to minus one. If you will just align all three concept, like you have something, you don't have anything, or you have negative, then what will happen? It will go from minus infinity to plus infinity, and that is called the set of integers. And that has become one of the fundamental premises of math, from where all the mathematical theory has developed. Means you can say if you will combine all three concept like you have something you don't have anything or you have the negative means you have taken extra more than your capacity you are eating more than you have you are having then if you will combine all three it will become a set of integers set of integers will lie from minus infinity to plus infinity if you will combine all three then it will become a number line famous number line that is very famous in mathematics and all a story of mathematics and sciences has started from this number line you will not believe but I am telling to you this straight line. 
and one single line has given all mathematics and all science it has started from this number line or sometimes it is used to tell real number line r n l then this line you will see at the center it is zero means you don't have anything nothingness you are in center you are in most comfortable condition you don't have anything you have not consumed extra means no tension if you don't have anything no tension only problem will be there you will feel sometimes you don't have anything nothingness emptiness if positive side you are running this side means it is counting number natural number you have something you have something or you can say in simple words in social terminology this side once you are keep on moving right hand side then you are becoming richer from you can say from your a stable condition you are uh, you are becoming the richer richer for the richer again richest means you can say middle class lower middle class you are keep on going left side if you are moving you are becoming poor further poor poorest below poverty line these all are going the minus infinity direction but all these three sense only will be there you have something you don't have anything or you have negative then concept of integer has come and next has come if you are dividing two integers like x y y don't take x y y because x y will give little uh, complication you will feel something different and take number 2 y 5 if you are taking the ratio means you are just taking two number and you are introducing one bar between these two then this is called ratio if any number like any natural number or negative integers you can you will able to write in the form of ratio like minus 5 you can write minus 5 by minus 5 by 1 there is no problem every integer if you will divide by 1 it will not change means any numbers any numbers either you are taking integers or non integers but in, it is in the form of ratio you can say it is a rational number means what happen further we have just broaden the idea like earlier one person are having one apple either he can give full apple or he, he can keep one apple with him means either positive or zero that only was possible either positive or zero apple either you can keep or you can give that much only possible but in between in between something may happen like you just divide the apple in three pieces one piece you can give two piece you can keep or maybe three persons are there you divide in three pieces one one piece you can take all the persons then what you are doing one full Full number you are dividing in three part means one full number you are dividing in three part means one by three that is only meaning one apple if you are dividing in three part then one by three if you are dividing in four part one out of five. and that is called mathematically it is called ratio or little advanced term you can say it is a fraction what is difference between ratio and fraction ratio can be anything ratio can be anything less than 1 or more than 1 both are ratio but fraction generally it will be less than 1 that is called fraction then 1 by 3 1 by 4 you can say exact mathematical term it is fraction but what is this one this just you can say 1 by 3 means one part out of three part apple has divided in three part one part you are considered that is called 1 by 3 if you have divided same apple in four parts one part you Considered one by four. Four person you have one apple. You just put ninety degree, ninety degree. It will become four part. One one piece you have taken all the person. Means you can say one person have taken one by four. Simple, very simple. And from that point, it is a started the ratio. And whatever number you can represent either integer or in the form of ratio. Means if you are dividing the apple or you are not dividing the apple. Both of the cases is considered. Either you are dividing the apple or not dividing the apple. It will become a rational number. Any number you can say it will become a rational number. Either integer, not integer, integer or fraction. Combination of integer and fraction, or complete fraction, any of the combination, all will become rational number. And finally, rational number, we have again broadened the idea. Rational number will fall down in a one of the category that is called real number. And what is the concept of real number? How it has come? Because this real number line has generated this one line. I am telling this a stick. This is one of the stick, and this is my best friend. You can take if you are preparing for CAT or you are uh, trying to understand the math. This real number line will be your best friend. It is my best friend. My best. Friend Friend is real number line. You also try to make best friend real number line because this is your reserve weapon. Reserve weapon. Any time, if any of the question, if you are not able to understand, you can use this real number line. You will able to understand something. Not only numbers. Numbers in algebra geometry anywhere. This is your best friend for your CAT preparation. It looks like very simple, but I will show you during the courses how much it is applicable and how much it is useful. This is a simple thing, but many of the complicated problem we can make it very simple based on the help of real number line. Then, if real number you will accommodate. means all kind of number rational integers negative positive zero whole number natural number counting number all will come in one of the c or you can say one of the broad category that is called real number what is real number if number can be represented on the real number line or number line that is called real number means if you are not able to represent on real number line means it will not real number if it is not real number or you can say in reverse way if you are not able to represent on the real number line then what will happen it will become a non 
real number. If anything is non-real, what will be name? Name will be imaginary. Two things only will be there. Either reality or imaginary. Imaginary. Reality, whatever we are seeing. Imaginary, whatever it is film. In film, it will be so imaginary thing. Things will be imagined and it will be suited. Same way here. If things are not real, then it will be imaginary. If it is imaginary, then two possibility will be there. Either it may be pure imaginary or it may be real part plus imaginary part. Same way, film also will be make. One film will be there that will be based on total imagination. It will be just pure imagination of any person or any writer. One film will be there. They will be inspired from some real incident or they will inspire from life of some successful people and they will make real part plus imaginary part means only two possibility either pure imagination or imagination instilled with reality then imaginary number can be two types pure imaginary number and you can say mix imaginary number mix imaginary number means real part and imaginary part both will be there you can write 3 plus 2i 4 plus minus 7i what is i this is not your this is a representation of complex number this is representation of complex number and i will be like this no need to know no need to know that much it is not your part of cat syllabus i will just uh, uh, number session i will give you little idea because little idea is required i will that time i will give you. now it is not required and afterwards if you are going another part of real number like one kind of real number that is rational number integers zero natural number whatever is there all numbers are real number but few numbers are there that is non rational i am not telling non real what I am telling, try to differentiate. Here I told, if not real number, it will be non-real. Here I am telling, if numbers are not rational, means numbers will not represent in the form of ratio. Like you are writing 2 by 5. This number you will not able to write in any of the ratio x, y, y, where x and y are integers. Means it is difficult to write any particular number in the form of ratio or in the form of like, what is ideal definition, whatever you know from the math, from basic math. If anybody will ask what is rational number, just you are memorized from since childhood number is a number which can be represented in the form of p by q where p and q are the integers everybody will tell what is irrational number a number which cannot be represented in the form of p by q where p and q are the integers this all we are totally memorized but we will never relook what this definition are telling then here non-rational numbers you can say if numbers are not able to represent in the form of x y x y y then you can say it is a non-rational number but still it is a real number then we can say real number will be divided in two parts rational and irrational means non-rational same way if number is not real then you can say it is a imaginary number imaginary number again you can divide in two parts pure pure imaginary and imaginary number instilled with real part or you can say imaginary number with real part or you can say all these understanding of counting counting numbers natural numbers whole number integers and negative numbers positive numbers and you can say real number irrational number rational number fractional everything you can and just compile in a simple table now understanding this table will become easy if you will go this table directly generally we used to what teacher will show one table this see this is a classification of number you just understand then it will be very difficult what you have to do this table use we should not read from top to bottom any of the this type of table classification table generally what is there our system or our teacher will tell you try to read from top to bottom you try to read from top to bottom but Generally, teacher or educators will advise you or this is like you can say education system anything we will read from top to bottom generally this table we will start from complex number real number imaginary number like that but i will tell you just to you change your way of looking you try to read from bottom to top bottom to top same way like solving the problem or reading the problem i used to advise don't read always left to right try to read right to left also because that sometimes it will be more helpful then if you will start to read from here like natural number then you will be able to understand all the concepts natural number has come from counting that i explained already and after natural number zero has come you have nothing then negative has come if you are eating more than you are having and combination of all these is called integers and rational number will become a part of integers and fractions like one by three if you are dividing the apple in three parts and giving one one part to all the persons three persons then you can say one by three one by four if you are dividing in four parts and combination of rational number and irrational what is irrational number which is non-rational if it is a non-rational you can say it is a irrational number but irrational number also we are able to represent on real number line if you are 
are able to represent any number on the real number line, it is called real number. Means both are a part of real number. If you will go further up, then you can say which number is not real. What we can say? It is not reality. It is imaginary. If it is not reality, it is, it is imaginary. Means which is not real number, non-real number, you can say it is an imaginary number. And combination of real number and imaginary number, you can say it is a complex number or numbers. Like if you will read from top to bottom, numbers is classified real imaginary. You will never understand. You will never understand. You will just memorize the, all the definitions. What is rational number? A number which can be represented in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers. What is irrational number? A number which is, which cannot represent in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers. These are all just just you can say it's a mug up. You have mugged up all the definitions, but it is not going to help you understanding what is actually. Try to go from bottom to top. Same way you can just look this figure. That is just the same same representation in set and Venn diagram type. Like here it is natural number counting, whole number, integers rational irrational and all it is combination is it is a real number now this is imaginary number which is not real in between gap is there both are not overlapped means real number and imaginary number cannot be overlap means either number can be real or can be imaginary both cannot possible imaginary number can be two type pure imaginary and imaginary imaginary where real part will be there we can say simply imaginary number or where real part is not there we can say it is a pure imaginary and combination of imaginary number and uh, real number you can say it is a complex number same way like here this number we have told it is a complex then from last 10 to 15 minutes we understood almost all classification of number and almost all type of number with from very basic or you can say it was the requirement requirement was accountability and from accountability everything has come then this concept of counting or you can say counting one two three four it will be continue in part two and uh, whatever i discussed now it will be again uh, it will be continued in part two then just this is this was the part one and will continue the concept like concept of infinity and basic mathematical operation on real number nine all will continue in the part two.